Hello students, welcome back. Let us continue with exercise 11.1 of chapter 11 constructions. We will take a look at the second question, wherein given an initial ray, you need to draw a point, uh, you need to draw an angle of 45 degrees at the initial point of the ray. So A, A B is your ray and A is the initial point. At A, you need to draw an angle of 45 degrees. So how will you do this? This is quite similar to the previous sum that we saw. I am going to take A as the center, any length and I am going to cut an arc using A as center and this arc to cut, one moment, this arc to cut AB at point D or let us say point C. Now I am not going to change this length, I am keeping it as it is C. The same length, I am going to take C as my center, cut an arc here, then using this arc, I am going to cut an arc here. So basically what I am doing is, the arc that I drew using A as my center, I am dividing into dividing it into three equal parts. Let us call these arcs as D, these points of intersection of the arcs as D, E and F, right? So once you are done with this, I will join A and D. So this is, it is a very good point to first mark your point and then connect two line, two points using a line. So I have drawn this ray AD. Now I am going to bisect angle DAC or DAB, it is the same angle. You already have the arcs over here, so let us bisect this angle. So my angle DAB is bisected here, I will call the point of intersection as E. I will join A to E, which will be the bisector of angle DAB. Now what I am going to do is, I am going to draw the bisector of angle EAD. So you already have the arc for small arc for EAD. I am going to bisect this angle. Let this point of intersection be G. I will join A to G. So this angle out here GAB is 45 degrees. How I will show it to you in a very short way. See what, we, what is happening here is you have equal arcs CD, DE and EF, right? Therefore if I join let us say AE and EF, I will get what? Angle CAD is equal to DAE is equal to angle EAF. Why? Because equal arcs subtend equal angles at the center. These arcs belong to a circle of center A, right? So, but these angles CAD plus DAE plus EAF is 180 degrees. Therefore, tri thrice of CAD is 180 degrees. Therefore, CAD is 180 degrees divided by 3 which is 60 degrees. So this angle CAD, CAD is 60 degrees, but AE is the bisector of CAD, therefore I get CAE is equal to EAD which is equal to 30 degree each. So this angle here is 30 degrees and we have the bisector of angle EAD as AG. So EAG or e, yeah, EAG is going to be half of 30 degrees which is 15 degrees. So this angle is 15 and this angle is 30. When you add them up, you get angle GAC or angle GAB is equal to 45 degrees, right? So let's go ahead, write the construction and proof. So I'll say construction steps. Step one, draw ray AB initial point A. Then using 
A as center. Draw an arc of any length intersecting AB at point C. Cut this arc. so without changing the length cut this arc into three equal parts or uh, three equal arcs which are the three equal arcs cd de and ef right then what we did is we joined ad see here the sequence is very important okay so if i have written cd it's because that's the first thing cd then de then def then ef okay if you happen to replace d with e over here and then you say join ad your entire construction will go wrong so please make sure that you name your diagrams exactly as i'm doing it over here and just in case you ha have misplaced the names here and there you either make the corrections here or here okay so join ad then fifth step is join draw angle bisector of angle dab then 6 so what is the angle bisector it is ae right now draw angle bisector of which angle dae this is ag therefore angle gab is equal to 45 degrees Now let's go ahead and write the proof. So you have arc CD is equal to arc DE is equal to arc EF. This implies what? That angle CAD is equal to angle DAF DAE is equal to angle EAF. right let's mark this as 1 but angle cad plus angle dae plus angle eaf is equal to 180 degrees let's mark this as 2 so from 1 into what do you get that therefore angle cad thrice angle cad is equal to 180 degrees I'll say from one and two, right? Therefore, angle CAD is equal to one hundred and eighty degrees divided by three, which is equal to sixty degrees. Let's mark this as three. Now, angle C CAE is half of angle CAD. CAE is equal to half of angle CAD. why because ae bisects angle cad therefore angle cae is equal to half of 60 degrees which is equal to 30 degrees let's mark this as 4 so your angle cae is equal to in fact over here you can say angle cae is equal to angle dae which is equal to half of angle cad because ae bisects angle cad right which is equal therefore angle cae 
is equal to angle DAE which is equal to half of 60 degrees which is equal to 30 degrees. Let's mark this as 3. Now you have marked this as 3 and also you, ha you need which angle? You need angle DAE. GAE. Angle GAE is equal to half of angle DAE. Why? Because AG is the bisector. AG bisects angle DAE. Right? Therefore, angle GAE is equal to half of 30 which is equal to 15 degrees. Let's mark this as 4. So adding 3 and 4, what do you get? Angle CAE plus angle GAE is equal to 30 degrees plus 15 degrees. Therefore adding 3 and 4. This is point number 4 by the way. I get angle CAE plus angle GAE is equal to 30 degrees plus 15 degrees. Right? This is equal to 45 degrees. CAE plus GAE. You have CAE plus GAE is equal to GAC. Angle GAC is equal to 45 degrees. Which implies that angle GAC is the same as angle GAB. Because C lies on the line segment AB. This implies that angle GAB is equal to 45 degrees. So please take a look at the construction, the proof as well as the steps for the construction. Thank you for watching this video. Hope this video increased your knowledge. For more such videos and a completely free educational content, log on to www.epathshala.org or visit our Epathshala YouTube channel. We have each and every question solved for maths, physics, chemistry and biology. So subscribe our channel, share with your friends, like our Facebook page and follow our Twitter handle for regular updates and important educational tips and also win Epathshala goodies. So what are you waiting for? Subscribe this channel and enjoy the freedom of education.